Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, when I first started at IHE, or as it was then UNESCO IHE, I came in and every week there was a man in my office, a very nice man, a very friendly man, but I wasn't quite sure what he was doing there. And eventually I plucked up the courage to find out and ask him what he did there. And I discovered that he does an invaluable job for the Institute and it's so much appreciated that Hate comes in and quietly gets on with collating, sorting through many, many, many photos, images that have built up over the years of all the activities that we do. And it's great that we have an opportunity in the 60th year to look at some of these and for Hate to share these with us. We had a taster a few weeks ago, which was a joy, it really was. And we all felt, I think, that it just wasn't long enough. So, um, due to great demand, Henk, you're back and you're giving, going to give us a slightly more extended version of the history of IHG Delta. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you, Ruth, for the nice introduction. <laughs> um, for some of you, or most of you know that I'm here more or less every Wednesday, not always, but uh, running around. And uh, what am I doing? No, what I'm gathering old pictures and old documents and trying to build that into an, uh, an archive, uh, together with Peter Stroh mainly, we do it together, but I'm doing the work, he's the boss. <laughs> uh, I, what I'd like to do is tell you, show you some pictures, I've quite a lot, if you're more interested, come to see me, because there's only a very minimal selection, and if you have pictures, which, of which you think this may be of historical value, or even if you don't know, please come to me and show them to me. I still get old pictures. Uh, Damir told me a few weeks ago, again, there's a pile of new pictures. Most of them I didn't know yet. So there's still an update possible. Now, history of IHC in pictures and documents. First, something about the buildings and the infrastructure. Now, the... Um, I'm, I'm very glad to, uh, I, I will only introduce you Hubert, uh, there's uh, uh, really somebody of the old uh, uh, IHE, he, I came in 1988 and then Hubert was already gone, <laughs> in fact I got his job, <laughs> so but I'm very pleased, because he came here, <laughs> I, he wanted to leave because I came here, I'm very out, pleased yeah. that you're here, so you will recognize it, this is the Oude Delft, uh, the white buildings at that time, time of the picture, all the white buildings were part of IEC. Nowadays, uh, the last part to the left hand side is now student housing or whatever housing, not even student housing. And the entrance was uh, a, a little bit to the right hand side, the uh, main entrance of IEC uh, Oude Delft 95. And this was for some time the uh, official announcement of the Institute, International Institute for Hydraulic and Environmental Engineering. In fact, IEC is the abbreviation of that. Um, when you came in, on the first floor, there was the reception. And here you see the reception and the lockers. The locker system was already there. You see the locker system on the right-hand side. And I think, I cannot really recognize her, I think it's Mrs. Amerlan, who was a receptionist at that time. She was here for some short period, but I don't recognize her here. But I think she was it. And what you see also, the old staircase, where uh, Mr. Jacobs and Mr. De Heer, Ronald is also not here, unfortunately, Ronald De Heer has started, in fact, all these activities, and I took over much of his pictures and uh, documents. And they are hanging a lamp. And don't ask me why they are hanging a lamp here. That's not, uh, I think it's not my task yet to do that. We also had a lecture room on the second floor of the Oude Delft 95 lecture room on the second floor. If you see the difference with these lecture rooms, there's quite an improvement nowadays. Um, and the whole of Oude Delft 89 that was in fact the place where the laboratory, the enter of the laboratories is now not of IEC anymore. But there was a coffee uh, system and so on. Okay, we go to the Prinzenkamer. Already before 1988, 
where English lectures were given, in this case to uh, Indonesian students, with Marianne Post. And Marianne Post was uh, married later to Paul Post, who was a staff member on this institute. So, uh, nice, again, I, as far as I know, they met each other here on the institute and became married later. Not became married, were married. married. Became married. Yeah, married. Okay. Um, from 1990 till 1992, we were not in these buildings here. We had a temporary, temporary building on New Milan. Uh, then this, the whole institute was rebuilt at this very spot. I have some pictures of that. And there was somebody, and the, the, the author, I don't know, I have an idea who made this, is a ballad of Outer Delft 95, somebody who liked the old system more than any new system, and he made a ballad of it. And if somebody knows who has written it, Jan Herman could know, uh, but uh, I don't know. But I found it also in the, uh, in the uh, archives. Uh, uh, if you are interested, tell me, then I'll send you a copy of this. You, 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 you get a copy of it. I'm um, but um, at the time when I came already here in 1988, there were plans for uh, new buildings. And uh, we got new buildings. And you see already in newspapers, new bow, or for the people that don't speak Dutch that well, is the uh, new buildings for IET are unique for Delft. And I think we all realized that when they started to build it. And that it, it was not in 1988 a very new uh, 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 idea. Uh, I found also in the, in the uh, uh, archive, there was already a paper of 1965 in which the new buildings were announced, or they were made a plan of the new buildings. 1965, it took 25 years about before it was finally built. But people have always been thinking about that. And... You see here the uh, demolition of part of the old buildings. What you see here, here is the entrance. In fact, we are sitting here. And this is the laboratory. For the laboratory itself, the, the, the back side. Here is the garden. Yeah. So that is uh, when they were starting to demolish. And they were so lucky to have a room, which I can see this, demolishing of the old buildings which was quite spectacular, I have to admit. Um, and then the new buildings were starting, uh, we were starting to build new ones. Uh, here, the Professor Will Segeren, the director at that time, uh, the, the, to the right-hand side, uh, it was official starting signal for the new building uh, at this very spot. Uh, here is an air, air photograph of these new Buildings, you don't see the new buildings yet. It is here. Here's the entrance. We are sitting here on the first floor. Here's the garden, and this is part of the laboratory and uh, still some lecture rooms. And very important here at that time, the cinema. It's not a cinema anymore, it's now um, hypothek, uh, the hypotheker. It was a cinema, and if we had too many students, which was quite often happening, we had to lecture in the cinema which was uh, uh, nice to sit, but not to lecture, because people were sitting in a nice chairs and immediately falling asleep <laughs> when you were lecturing. So it was not a very big pleasure. But for bigger groups, we had to do it in the cinema. And 1992, this is a new building, and this was the official announcement or the official uh, 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 fact that we had uh, new buildings and they were opened in 1992. So that is a little bit about the buildings of the institute. And within the institute many things were happening. This was the old library also in Oude Delft 89. Again that is not part of the institute anymore and this is uh, the librarian at that time, the Patricia Darvis at that time, took Roel. 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 She had an how do you say the title? How is that in English? She was no noble. Uh, How is that called in English? Honor. Now she was an uh, official. Uh, yeah, yeah. That is it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, you have the same title? No. <laughs> so it was took 
been here for quite some time. This was, if you look into the library, you see uh, lots of books, but that is quite normal for a library, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a new library with Anna-Marie van Scheijen. Every, every now and then I'm writing names that she has been here also for quite some time and was uh, active in the new library and you will may recognize, although I have the impression that this is already changed again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is again an old picture. Um, we go to the laboratories for a minute. Um, on the, we had quite some laboratories in Oude Delft 89 labs. Uh, this was the biology lab, this was the microbiology lab, and this was the chemistry lab. And nowadays, in all the three, the department of Pieter van der Zaag, Professor van der Zaag, is located. And officially it's called IWSG, am I correct? Or is that already changed that name? It's changing so often you can't. That's why I'm saying the group of Professor van der Zaag. Now, this was, I remember, this was my very first year as a lecturer. Does somebody recognize her, Peter? Hearings? You recognize her? Liliana Abarca. She was from Costa Rica and she has been le guest lecturing here for quite some time and everybody knew immediately when she was there. She had even a louder voice than my voice is. So when she was at the reception desk, everybody knew that she was there. So that's why I know that from her very first year giving lectures and lab courses, she was here. Here, this one. Uh, the late Case Big, he was a uh, laboratory assistant. He passed away quite some time ago. The only time I'm saying it, Hubert, I, I promise you. And here, Professor Ladiviere, at that time the vice director of the institute, uh, giving a demonstration of the field kit for microbiological and uh, chemical work. And here we have a laboratory. And nowadays, this is a new lab immediately after 1992 where the microbiology lab, labs, labs are given. Now, still nowadays, although uh, internally it looks quite different now. Uh, the lady there was not very enthusiastic if I looked at that about my lab course in microbiology. Now, this was the lab staff in 1989. I showed this one before and on the 12th of January. You recognize two of them. I start with him. He's sitting there in the room. Peter, raise your finger. <laughs> Peter Hearing. You really don't recognize him. That's why Hubert also did not recognize him. And this is Fred Kruis, the, the boss of the lab nowadays. So they were there already in 1989. Also here, during every year, we went to Limburg on field work. I think the sanitary engineers are still doing that. Here you see that, I, I guess it was 1985, with two of the lab staff at the entrance of the, or, or at the wastewater treatment plant in Simpelveld in Limburg, where we do all this laboratory work. Or this is part of the laboratory work outside with the field kit again. And always this, uh, what we call multiple use of the lab. Uh, for me, one of the most impressive pictures, it's also in the booklet about 50 years of IEC. I was so impressed by the picture that labs are not only used for laboratory activities. Great, great picture. Yeah. The catering, always very important in this institute. Part of our culture, the catering. This was at Oude Delft at that time, 95, the entrance, uh, Joker and... Lane. 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 Yeah. Yeah. They were taking care of us during lunch breaks. It was very simple as compared with the nowadays catering. Then we went for two years in the new Laan. This was the catering already much larger, uh, the restaurants. And then finally we got the big restaurant as nowadays. Although this already old picture, the social room. Still the social room is there, but it's totally renovated. I think already about ten years ago. But uh, uh, quite a classical picture, I would say, Professor Segen at that side of the bar and Ruth Slootweg uh, serving the uh, beer and the wine. And I, I, as far as I remember, there was at least once a week, maybe once a month, something to celebrate. 
and so they were quite often there were all this kind of um, uh, 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 gatherings. IT, also very important, and maybe that I showed these ones before. Computer lessons before 1990, there's a big computers, but also and the, the next one you have seen before, uh, Wim, you've seen it, you're on it, yeah. Uh, Rue Norman, Hardy Plurinus, Wim Glass sitting there, uh, Willem van Nieveld still working here. I don't know this guy. This was Tony Mintz. He was at that time a PhD Australian, student. Yeah. Was a staff member later. Went to Australia later, and now is back in Delft in Delft Hydraulics or Delta. Yeah. And Adrie Verwij and Rue Norman. Yeah, Adrie Verwij was also a staff member for quite some time. So the old, I would say. Uh, IT staff. This was the heart of the institute. Not the rector's room, but this. It's totally uh, unbelievable that it happened for so many years, the planning board. Yeah. All the lectures were planned on planning board, just by hand. Nowadays it's all, of course, computerized. Yeah. But at that time it was by hand. And all the lectures had a look well, how to, to discuss with the planning officers. I think it's Marijke Waterer, so it's before I was here. I don't know her, but I knew I heard her name. So, and this is Bert van Del. For some of you, not well, still recognizable. He was lecturing not so long ago, still in this institute, although he was uh, already over 75 years old. Yeah, and very deaf. <laughs> so, but this was the heart of the institute, and all your <laughs> colleagues you met here regularly. And another part of the heart was the reproduction department. An old, we call it an Alice stencil machine. I don't know how it's uh, translated in English, but uh, Theo Lutker, the one here, was making all the lecture notes and so on on this simple piece of equipment. Later it became all automatic, and if you have compared with now, it's quite different. Uh, this was where now the financial department more or less is situated. And then our first ISE car. I, unfortunately, I couldn't find a picture of it. If somebody has a picture of the first ISE car, I would be very pleased. But the advantage of this one as compared to the newer ones is that our name was written on it. So wherever you were in, the, in town, you saw it, you knew there's our car. And nowadays they are unrecognizable. It's official. Uh, CD numbers on it, but it was, uh, this was the first one. Some celebrations. Also a very important aspect of this institute, there was always somebody to celebrate or some <laughs> thing. IHC 25 years. So it was in 1982. And then Prince Claus gave the uh, presentation. Yeah, you have been attending that, Hubert, I'm quite sure. You were not here yet, yeah. So it was Prince Klaus, the father of the present king. He gave a presentation on, he was very much interested in, uh, in international aid, so he was giving the, the major speech there. And ah, here you see a classical audience. I don't have it too often, the audience pictures, but sometimes nice to see all these official people sitting there listening to Prince Klaus. But there was quite some interest in newspapers even at that time. So, Institute IHC is existing 25 years, and Prince Claus at 25 years existence of Delft Institute. So, that is, uh, and all these things are still uh, visible in the archives. Then we had IHC 40 years. And that was also quite interesting because we, have, we had hired, or we, the, that time, somebody had hired, trams. <laughs> they were... They were uh, stopping just in front of the institute, filled with everybody waiting here, and then went to the Hague. Was three, as far as I remember, three trams were hired to bring us to the Hague. And that was in uh, 1997. Yeah. And, oh, no, two advances, not a problem. Here we have the room, Diligentia, it's called, in the Hague, where we had all the official, and it was uh, official session, 
and it was also uh, correlated with the uh, awarding of the diplomas. So it, uh, at that time, that was in August and not in April. <laughs> so August or September. And there was a festivity later in the evening. You may recognize some of our former colleagues. Uh, Marleen is still around here. But for the rest, I think this was Atje. Uh, Marion Makink. Uh, uh, Piers is cute. I can't help you. And here you can. I can't. I, I, I can't. That's the other. Uh, Wouter, uh, Mick, still working here, and Peter Kelderman, who just uh, 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 said goodbye. Anne, uh, Marieke de Groen. Marieke was a PhD student. She's living nowadays in, uh, in South Africa. 1991, 25 years international course on hydrology with Andras Solosinoc, not knowing at that time that he would be the director of this institute till when? when did it, one year ago, roughly. No, 2014. Oh, three years ago he left? <laughs> he left three years. <laughs> you are not that long here already, Fritz. I was already chair of the... Uh, yeah, I know that, but not as an acting... No, no. no. But, uh, so he was, a, and he became later the uh, uh, director of this institute. And also what you see here, Professor Segeren once again and his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at that time the major of Delft, Mr. Van Walsum. And last year I was on the uh, awarding ceremony and he was still there. He is, incidentally, he is uh, uh, attending the awarding ceremonies of the Institute. Jan Leijendijk and his wife, Truus. You recognize them. Uh, yeah. We had also in 1996 25 years of EST. We had a dinner in a Thai restaurant, Professor La Riviera, and even, you recognize this guy, he is now a little bit grayer, and even his beard <laughs> is a little bit grayer. Uh, and we had a, a kind, made a kind of competition. All former uh, students were allowed to send a an, uh, an, uh, one-page writing about themselves, about the time they were here, about what they were doing now, and the best one, was it a uh, uh, jury, the best one was selected, and that guy was invited to come to the institute, paid by this institute, and he gave a special presentation uh, on the occasion of the 25 years birthday of the EST course, the EST nowadays more or less the ES program. A little bit different, but in, in broad lines it's identical. Not the content, but the, the name. <laughs> Let's hope not the content. <laughs> now, this booklet was uh, edited in 2007 yeah. on the occasion of the 50th birthday of the Institute. And uh, Peter, Laura is not here today, and myself, we were allowed <coughs> to make a booklet on the non-academic activities of this Institute. And in fact, this is a kind of what I'm doing now is a kind of follow-up of what I was doing at that time. And we again had a special guest, and that is the present king of the Netherlands, William Alexander, Willem Alexander, William Alexander, with the rector at that time, Professor Migenk, and the vice rector, Mr. Maarten Blokland. Yeah, 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 yeah. Education. Brochures. You see that already for the first course in 1957, a brochure <laughs> was edited. Prospectus 57. 57 57, 58. But uh, there are a lot available. This is one from 1961. You can also see some old staff members or lecturers on the list. And I have to admit that by far most I haven't even heard of them. So that was in 1961. I just started on my high school at that time. Uh, then we have 1968. Again, an, uh, already more programs were given. There was already a sanitary engineering course uh, besides the uh, hydraulic engineering course. In 1977, uh, yeah, I just opened the booklet for, uh, if you are interested, very nice to read something which was written at that time, uh, but it's going too far to read it all together now. It may be also not interesting enough. And this was a brochure I still remember, 1992, 
and then you see the causes are given already in quite some uh, fields. Hydraulic engineering, hydrology, sanitary engineering, water quality management and EST. And water quality management is now part of the water management program, EST is part of the ES program, and hydrology is part of the hydraulic engineering program, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. PhD students. Our first PhD student was Mrs. Nini Tang from hydroinformatics. She was from uh, uh, Burma, uh, uh, Myanmar. Myanmar, and in fact, she was the very first to, to uh, receive a PhD of this institute. The only one. Uh, I don't want to go into that detail. So that is the only one, in fact, of the only of. I see. I have the words, we had a combination with TU Delft. That's a correction I knew, but I doubted if that was <laughs> so relevant for this audience. But okay. Here, you recognize him. 1996, he got his PhD. Again, a staff member who has grown mainly in this direction. <laughs> yeah? Bane Petrushevsky. But, yeah. 1996, Bane Petrushevsky. You also recognize him? Sur, Sur Yadi, hydraulic engineering, also in 1996. Mendes, I see him every now and then. I, I, is he also lecturing? It's my, not my field, so I think he's lecturing. I, when I see him, uh, we still say hello and shake hands. Uh, he was graduated in 1998, or nearly 20 years ago. Now, Saroy, here you are. <laughs> uh, 2001, with uh, Rani van Emmerich, was your was, uh, 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 lap staff, uh, temporary lap staff at that moment. She finally was the, the reason you were able to uh, get your PhD, isn't it? <laughs> and finally, Musa, Musa van Musa, he's still lecturing here. I met him a month ago, he was here still. Very pleased, he was my own PhD student. We did it with Stineke, and uh, uh, Brazil still very proud of him. Then we go to the MSc awardings. This was the first MSc of Mrs. Suwinska from Poland in 1986. In fact, it was not totally correct. There were two at that moment. The other one was a guy from Canada, but I couldn't find a picture of him. So Mrs. Suwinska was one of the two receiving the first MSc of this institute. And who do we have here? Still a little bit more slim than on the former picture, still Petrushevsky, then receiving his embassy. So he has made quite a career here, as you can see. Um, Mr. Cissé, in a classical dress his, uh, of his own country, very nice uh, that still people are doing that. And Mrs. Nasashibi from Palestine was quite a character here. Unfortunately, she stopped with her PhD later. Uh, she was a very good student. This Professor Patrick Denny, people that may see here Patrick Denny, Mike Hall, and uh, I say with Guy Allard, I cannot see it very well. Is it Guy? No? Yeah? Yeah, it's Guy. Yeah. Oops. Oh. <laughs> I begin a bit to sloffen. Now, this one I've shown also before some, let's say, program coordinators who did that for quite some time, awarding just uh, at that time not MSc but uh, MNs or diplomas. Mr. Buitenman, Sanitary Engineering, all are retired except one, Mr. Damen, Mr. Van Bruggen, the heer Peter Kelderman, who retired in June last year, Mr. Post. Paul Post, who uh, retired already 10 years ago. Uh, Jan Luyendijk, at that time also active as a program coordinator. Uh, myself and uh, Tom Jacobs. Um, uh, for you now, the person is who is not retired of these people. <laughs> from Hans van Bruggen, who will retire in December, by the way. <laughs> then we have some what I consider as older MN di diplomas. It is Mr. Van Oudenhoven, one of the first Dutch people I saw that, who received the diploma, and he was here for quite some time, a guest lecturer. 
I don't know exactly. It was just the year I came, he stopped with guest lecturing. He made a great career. He made a great career. Oh, you, yeah, I, I don't, don't know. He was, uh, what they were telling about him were all very positive about him. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a picture of 1978. It's for the Indonesian specialization program. They also received the uh, diploma with Professor Mostertman. He, he was at the first director of this institute. And uh, you, in all pictures, see him quite often. Then, Hubert, here you are. <laughs> you recognize yourself. Yeah, also diploma awarding with uh, Professor oh, Lanivere yeah. and Jos Bult, the secretary, secretary in the department. Yeah. I have to admit, I think I know who this is, but I was not sure enough to put a name on it. Uh, it's more detective work that there's only one left who can be it, but I'm not very sure. So that's why I put... Dutch. If you reckon, sorry, the photograph booklet. yes, but the, the point is the photograph booklets. Yes, I'm using them quite a lot. But you should realize the photographs are made when they arrived, yeah. Yeah. and these pictures are made when they left. Yeah. And you see a big difference between these people when they arrived here and when they left here. The skin color remains. Yeah, the skin color remains. <laughs> and I think I, I can find out who that is. But for this moment, and they, I and they, was it in day from? But the Gambia and they from the Gambia? <laughs> if they're from know. the Gambia, all I call they. No, no, no I, I'm not sure. Let it yeah. be, let it you be. may help me, uh, Hubert. Yeah. <laughs> now, we had also at uh, that time already uh, uh, awarding ceremonies in the new uh, old church. You can see here Mr. Veenstra, Simon Veenstra. And I'm not totally sure. Is there someone say, it, I, I, it looks like Professor Duncan Mara. Do you know him, uh, Saroy? No. But uh, I, I'm not totally sure. It's already from 1987. But uh, I don't know. No. And this was, in, at that time, the Technique Museum. That was our, our neighbors when we were in this temporary building in the New Milan. So we had the last year we were in that temporary building, we had a diploma awarding in the Technique Museum. That was uh, next door. And that had a disadvantage that you hadn't this nice cottage walking through the streets of Delft, but that you did it in the room, uh, in, the, in the building near to you. And it's you, people of Delft were missing a lot. And this one is a very old one. I'm not totally sure about the year. I'm still finding out. That is maybe even before you were uh, I think so. here. Yeah. But it's in front of 95. It's in front of Outer Delft 95. Yeah. It's also kind of diploma uh, awarding, <laughs> but I don't see the cylinders in which the diploma was. Maybe it was not yet at that time. Here you see Professor Mostertman, at that time the director of the institute, Professor Larivière, the vice director, yeah. and so, so very young here. So, and this was um, Professor Dicklich. Dicklich. He started here as a student in 57, and he became a staff member and a professor in this institute. I have another picture of him. I draw it, yeah. yeah. We had quite a lot of field work. <coughs> also, maybe uh, this is a very enthusiastic group of hydraulic engineering students in 1997 on their way to whatever. I think it's kind of geology because they're all wearing a hammer, and that's normally yeah. for geologists. Yeah. Um, here we have a uh, uh, wastewater treatment plant again. Is a sanitary engineer, Mr. Post, is joining uh, field work because we also did field work in many cases on these sites. Field trip, yeah. Then we have here a very active staff member. Where are you, Eric? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Watching the uh, sampling in the River Gull. I think it's River Gull yeah, in Limburg. We always yeah. went to a Gull. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, it's always the, the one is working, the staff is checking if he or she is doing it correctly, and the rest is waiting. <laughs> and this is still a quite, I think, a nice picture that was, I, I was with it myself in 1993 in the borderline of Wales in England. For some years we had field work in there, and it was, the weather was not that nice, and what you see, all people were wearing the same as uh, rain coats. 
guest lecturers. We had a lot of them. I can't show them all. Uh, 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 what we had in 1997, I had organized with a colleague a guest lecturers day, where we all invited all our guest lecturers. There were quite a lot were coming, showing the institute, uh, giving them some presentation, and there was a drink, and there was a selection of the best guest lecturer of the institute. And this guy received the prize. And I have to admit, I don't know his name anymore. He was not in my program, so I, I did not know him. But uh, that he Wegman. received... What? Fred Wegman. Fred Wegman? Ah. Later, maybe now the director of the Stof. Oh, yeah. Can you me that? I, I, I come to you. So you know the name, then I have to add that. Now what you see here are some guest lectures. I recognize Mr. Gishery for the EST man, uh, and uh, one of the guys who gave uh, ecotoxicology, Eric, help me. <coughs> Mus, Aalt Mus, Yvonne de Klerk, uh, and we have Arnold Mulder, and Eric is guiding him around. And we also had some time to uh, the, put the planning, of, planning officers to the front, because they are always doing a lot of work for these guest lecturers. And you recognize now, maybe not Caroline, still, Caroline is here, still there, still working at the planning. Uh, De Bruyne, Ellie De Bruyne was from finance Ellie, department, Ellie, oh yes. Els Lowe and Marianne Veling. These three were the planning officers and she did the financial aspects of the guest lecturers. And what you see is guest lecturers in uh, their working environment. Now, I won't go into details of them. This is uh, extra. <laughs> was a famous guest lecturer in the uh, ES program. I see that I'm running out of time, so I'm uh, uh, hurrying up a little bit. Handbooks. When the students came, they received a handbook. And when they left, they received a new handbook with updates. And we used the new handbook as the preliminary handbook for the year afterwards. So you see here the handbook, hydraulic engineering, uh, a sanitary engineer in 1970, 1971, and even our programs, 87, 80, 86, 87 in Indonesia, had their own handbook. There was <coughs> um, facts and figures of 57, 58. So it was the first year of the institute, and there's even a list with participants. I showed in, uh, some time ago a, a photograph of the <coughs> awarding ceremony, but these are the participants. I was talking about uh, Professor Diklic, Stepan Diklic, he was a participant from Yugoslavia, he was here as a student in 57 and returned later as a lecturer. And a schedule, nowadays you all got it, get it, uh, receive it per computer, but now this was the schedule of 2 to 7 December 1968, and some of the lecture uh, in uh, hydraulic engineering, by the way. A very old fashioned way of doing this. Examinations. I have here an examination for you, hydraulic engineers or others, an examination of 1967. Intermediate hydraulics, whatever it may mean. Because if you want, you can try to answer the questions. Here's a one for hydrologists of 1966. And there is also was a final examination, also of hydrologists in 1967. Farewell of the students. You see here the cortege is walking here to the Oude Kerk, as you did, as we did this year again, in the newspapers, and this was an announcement for a party in 1995, a final party. And this was, uh, and it, in fact it's not all 1998, was uh, some activities, I had the impression that there were less uh, uh, speeches at that time and more activities of the students which I like much more. These are too historical for me. This is a very historical one. 
there the staff with Nemanja Trifunovic is singing here, here also, so this can't be the same year, but I don't know which years it, these are. This was a performance by uh, Vietnamese students with their hats, uh, it was excellent. And, but this, everybody is a little bit older, is still remembering this. These were South African students, they did the boot dance, and that was excellent. <laughs> Um, alumni letters, I'll show them at once. If you think it's, it's now new, no, it's not at all. Already in uh, 1968, I saw, in the, fir the first one I saw, an uh, alumni letter. In fact, that was less a letter for alumni as a letter produced by alumni, because all the contributions were by alumni. Yeah. Totally different as we see it nowadays. And so uh, all years, uh, some other years are also uh, visible here. Now, then we also said farewell to some colleagues. Professor Dickrich, already in 1983, he uh, left the institute. We have here, there's, uh, there you are again, Hubert. Yes. 1988, with Professor Larivier and Harry Zalt. So tell Margaret Zalt, Zalt. that Zalt. Harry is yes. on a picture. I'll tell Margaret. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, this was the, just after I arrived, uh, uh, these three people were saying farewell to the institute. Many of them, in fact, till they till uh, were passing away, we saw them quite often yeah. in the institute, and I'm very happy that Hubert is still here. Tineke Volker, the head of student affairs in 1989, she went to the World Health, nay, to the food organization in Rome, as far as I'm, I remember. And... Esther, are you here? Yes. Where's <laughs> Esther? Here. I told you you were on the picture. <laughs> uh, Father Pete, we had a vicar, a, a priest, and a Muslim person who were taking care of the, uh, uh, let's say, the religious aspects of the students. And this was Father Pete, was the Catholic father. He Pa no, he was uh, retiring in 1995, but he was quite well known in, the, Pete, in this institute. Father Pete. Father Pete, you know him. Yeah. Here, Helga, one of the first secretaries of the institute. Helga here uh, said goodbye to the institute in 2000. And that's one of the few pictures I have from later. Rien Schakeraat, he was in fact the successor of Tineke. He left the institute in 2003, but he still quite often I see him. He was here also last week on Monday. He was uh, in the Veste, celebrating 60 years of the institute. Some social activities. Uh, nowadays students have their social day in uh, uh, Wassen Meijendel, near Wassenaar. We used to go for two days to Epen, a small village in the central part of the Netherlands. Uh, we did all kinds of activities here, and we can, you can, could win a prize, which was the group of Peter Kellerman and Father Pete, who was also there with their group. They won a the prize. Don't ask me what the rules were. I have no idea, but they won the prize. And it's one of the most wet uh, introductory days ever in Epen. We had, uh, I think it was the first time that Sifunovic joined and I think uh, I've never seen him again uh, during the introductory <laughs> days in Apen. Apen was too much for him. It was too much. Now, that um, we still are making use of the clock dance group is nice, but they were already here. This was the first picture I know from 1993. They were already here before I came. Nice. So they had a long tradition, and you may even recognize some faces. This was in 1996. Uh, Lukovac was... Uh, staff member at that time. And 1997 and in 1999 Margaret Abira, I guess, uh, Eric? I can't uh, make anything else of it. Yeah. Um, sport. There was a ping pong table above the laboratory that was uh, Quite for quite some time. We had an International Sports Day that is again there. I, I thought it was uh, stopped, but I heard that they're still doing it or doing it again. 
It was a, a stop for some years. Professor Segeren, and this is Frank, you, you, you know it. You. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was at that time world champion uh, 60 meters indoor uh, athletics, a Dutch Nelly Koma, and she awarded the prizes. Now, you are also here, Herman. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Uh, now, of course, the IHC won most of the sports days, uh, and, but also chess was an activity carried out there. Now, a little bit more sport, people are already referring to it, 1987, when climate change was not that obvious yet, um, there were still opportunities to skate on the canals. You see here, students uh, biking on the canal, that I've never done that by the way. <laughs> and here, uh, Han, I saw Han, yeah, Han, you're also in the picture, uh, with one of the students. It didn't happen that often, and, and the second one I have, and that was 1996, that was already in front of our new building, and I've never seen it because at that time I was somewhere in the Philippines or Thailand, so it was, uh, I've never seen that second activity when it was cold here. Then, last ones to finalize, we have uh, Santa Claus, everybody knows, and we were very much up to date, I would say. We even had a black Santa Claus, which is excellent. Not white Pete Saint Peter, but black Santa Claus. Excellent. And uh, Gina, I didn't see Gina. This is Gina, Gina Forno. At that time, she left and came back one or two years ago to the Institute. And she, as I understood, she has given the the diploma awarding she had, uh, it was talking there during the uh, diploma awarding. But again, it was the same year, but I thought, I have many of Santa Claus, but the fact that we had a black Santa Claus, I can use that in all the discussions nowadays about uh, the color of Black Peter. And always Christmas, we had a Christmas lunch in our temporary building, but from 1994 onwards, we had every year, we had a Christmas dinner, and uh, the staff was uh, serving dinner, and that is the last picture I have, I thought was a nice one, the candles to think of uh, the future of this institute and 60 years. This is uh, Marike de Groen, again, uh, that time PhD student. And here, Hans, I, I will remove the... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I want to remove the, this, this one, otherwise it was pointing to the head of Marika. Marika was here a month ago or two months ago, very unexpectedly, and at that time I was, was in the Institute, so I had a chat with her. She's doing very fine for the people that don't know, that know her but have no idea how she is doing. Thanks. The last ones were a little bit more in a hurry, but I still uh, am in time. Um, if people want to know more, are interested in more pictures, please pop in once I'm here or let me know. And if you have pictures, you may say they are not very useful or worthwhile. Uh, let me make that decision if they are. On Wednesdays. <laughs> and, uh, Wednesdays. On, normally I'm here on Wednesdays. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But you can also, uh, uh, you can also uh, 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 send them to Peter yeah. Stroh and then to, I will get them. Yeah. To attention of... Yeah, yeah. but if they have old pictures, Peter knows that I won't have them. Thanks for your attention. Thank you.